What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So online there are plenty of reviews for running shoes, however for running apparel there isn't that many that I could find. And today we're going to be doing a review on a running singlet, more specifically the Nike Aero Swift running tank from Nike. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it, uh, the specs, uh, what I like and dislike about it to hopefully let you guys know if you were curious about purchasing this expensive tank for running uh, to give you a better idea if this is worth it. So I thought, you know, I'll help you guys out since I was in the same boat looking for reviews before deciding on purchasing this tank. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications and let's get started. So before purchasing the singlet, I tried to find reviews about it to see if it was worth the expensive price tag. However, I was unsuccessful in finding a lot of reviews online about it. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and purchased it anyways. So we'll go ahead and talk about the specs of this tank. So the Nike Aero Swift tank is Nike's top of the line racing singlet. You'll see many elites or professional athletes using these tanks in one way or the another to race in. Um, they might have sponsored logos on them, but they also use very similar technology. Um, and it's, you know, a favorite of a lot of athletes as well as casual runners. Um, the cost for these tanks are about $70 on Nike. Um, they don't seem to really go on sale. However, I was able to pick up the lime green version in an outlet store for about even like $25, so a huge discount. So if you guys have an outlet store near you, be sure to check it out to find some deals on these. Um, they are equipped with the Nike Dry Fit Technologies, which uses data from tons of runners testing it to see where the holes should be to help with breathability and also wicking away of the sweat. Um, these are also slim fit, so if you wear your normal size, you might want to size up to a little bit bigger. Um, because they are a little bit more tight around the rib area as well as on the top um, and they're also shorter than your traditional uh, running singlets and of course the big thing is the weight so these weigh at about 1.9 ounces for a medium size and about 2.1 for a large size and compared to your regular dry fit tanks they weigh at about 3.5 ounces so it's a huge uh, difference in terms of weight and if you think about it if you sweat and you know a lot and that's that going to accumulate uh, more weight onto your tank so if you think if now you're going to be weighing uh, there's a lot of weight on you while you're running so which could affect your performance in your runs or your races and also the hem in the back is a little bit elongated uh, compared to the front and also these are made with at least 75 percent recycled polyester which is also very eco-friendly as well so in this year's model the 2020 version um, it's made in Cambodia however last year's version was made in Thailand so the place that they're made is usually different year after year but the technology and the overall feel and look of the tanks uh, stay pretty much consistent so in this year's design the swoosh logo is on the upper strap as well as the back strap so it's a little bit different from previous versions where the swoosh logo was facing regular um, on the front of the chest. So these are available in different colors as well. I believe right now there's about five different colors. So you have your white, your black, uh, your bright mango. Also there is a red color and there's also the royal blue and then also the lime green version that I have now. So what do I like about these tanks? Of course the number one thing that I like about this tank is the weight immediately once you put this on and comparing it to your other dry fit or regular tanks you can notice a weight difference it doesn't feel like it's weighing you down uh, you barely feel like you're wearing anything at all uh, with the slim fit it cuts away some of the fabric too another thing that i like about this tank is super breathable and lightweight um, you barely feel like you're wearing anything and then you know as i talked about earlier the sweat just dissipates off your body you don't even feel like you're sweating until you actually take off the tank and you'll see how wet it is but even with it on you don't even feel that weight and that sweat on which is incredible how nike was able to manage this um, um so yeah that's one thing that i really uh liked and that 
really bothered me while I was running is having those singlets that are made of cotton or you know even dry fit where it just gets super heavy and soaked as you sweat and then the water goes to the bottom of the tank it makes the tank even heavier and it sticks to your skin so that whole feeling of running is just super uncomfortable and having this tank that definitely solves my problem also I like the slim fit design it looks sleek um, you know, I hate running in the tank tops that are too big or singlets that don't fit. Um, you just get that extra fabric. It just seems unnecessarily heavy. So I like how the slim fit design, you know, gives you just enough fabric that you need while also incorporating all those technology in there to make it feel like you're not wearing anything at all. So what do I not like about this tank? Well, number one is the price tag. $70 is a lot for a running tank, I uh, you know, for a lot of people. Um, you know, then it's just for one color. So if you want to collect all of them, they can, you know, the price tag could totally add up. So obviously this is the top of the line racing singlet from Nike. So, you know, knowing them, they can price it however they want. Um, it's a little bit expensive in my taste for a running tank, but you know, that's really up to the consumer. Um, another thing I don't like about this tank is while I'm running, the tank somehow uh, likes to shift um, a little bit to my right side. I don't know if it's the way that I run or it's just how the tank is, but um, the tank always likes to move around um, either left or right while running. So I kind of have to fix it. So it's kind of in the middle um, where so it's kind of balanced. So that's one thing that I've noticed. Um, I don't know if other people that have this tank might have experienced this as well. Another thing that I don't like uh, about the tank is it feels like it's very thin. Um, and it feels like I have to take very good care of it while washing it. I can't just throw it in the washing machine um, and, you know, kind of let it go. The materials look like they're literally cut from a piece of fabric and it's a very, looks like it's very fragile, although it does stretch a lot. So um, I feel, I'm not sure of how long these tanks will last, but um, I feel like after a lot of washing, they might not be the same again because the edges might feel a little more uh, more rough uh, compared to when you originally uh, bought it brand new since it's kind of seamless. So that's one thing I'm concerned about as well. Also, um, with the design of the Swish logo, it's kind of on the strap this year, which seems a little bit weird. It's kind of like a upside or <laughs> upside down Nike, uh, which is I'm not familiar with, but you know that might be uh, just personal opinion based on the consumer. So some people might like it, some people might not. It is a little bit different compared to last year um, when it was, you know, just regular uh, straight um, on your front of your chest. Now they place on the strap. So that's another thing uh, which is more subjective um, based on taste. So overall, the Nike Aero Swift tank is definitely a great tank to have. It is definitely pricey for a running singlet. However, price aside, if I had the option to choose any tank, this is definitely the tank that I would choose for my running needs. It's super breathable. Um, it's lightweight. doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything in it. Um, and it's probably the best tank I've ever tried on in terms of sweat wicking and technology. I don't even feel like the sweat is on me while I'm running. So it's definitely a very... A nice tank and you can tell Nike has spent a lot of time in designing this tank and put a lot of technology into it even though it just seems like it's a piece of fabric. Video I hope this video was informative and in helping you guys decide if you were looking into this tank or not. Uh, this tank is definitely expensive um, but however the technology um, is definitely you know great and it's probably one of my all-time favorite running singlets to have. So if price isn't a concern, then this is definitely the tank that I would recommend for racing or just any type of running in general. The sweat wicking technology and the breathability is like no other tank that I have experienced. So if you guys have any other comments, feedback, or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Again, hope you guys are doing great and staying safe out there. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.